If you're new to matrix multiplication, the process of multiplying matrices is extremely unintuitive as it's nothing you've seen before in maths. Um, but hopefully by doing this example, if anything, I can just show you the process of how it's done. Firstly, we should talk about the dimensions of matrices because that is extremely important in knowing which matrices cannot be multiplied. So, for example, this matrix here is a 3 by 3. The first, the first 3 here represents the number of rows, and the second 3 here represents the number of columns. So this is a 3 by 3 matrix. This matrix over here is a 3 by 1. Because there's 3 rows, but only 1 column. So three rows means three horizontal rows, and three columns means three vertical columns. Knowing the dimensions is really important because for matrices to be able to be multiplied together, these two dimensions, this one and this one, they must be the same. Okay, so now we have established that this matrix problem can actually does actually have a solution we can go ahead and solve it just remember that this one means the columns and the first one means the rows the first one being the one preceding the second dimension so this would be rows and this would be columns So make sure to remember that if the columns of the first matrix matches the number of rows in the second matrix, it is possible to find a solution. In any other case, it is not possible. Right, so you may be wondering why we wanted to know the dimensions of, of this number here and the dimension here. Well, these two numbers are important for determining the final size of, of the final matrix, the solution, I should say. So we should know that the solution, we expect the solution to have three rows, but only one column. Remember, this is a row, this is a row, this is a row, this is a column, 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 and these are rows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we expect the final solution to have three rows, but only one column. Okay, so now comes the tricky part, multiplying the actual matrix together. So the rules in matrix multiplication is that you get the first row from the first matrix, the 304, and you multiply that by the first column of the second matrix, 5 to 4. So what, what you will get, remember the first row times the first column, you will get 3 times 5, which is 15, plus 0 times negative 2, which is 0, and 4, times 4, which is plus 16. Okay, For the second row of the solution, you will actually get the second row of the first matrix times the column of the second matrix. So it would be 1 times 5, which is 5, plus 1 times negative 2, which is negative 2, and 2 times 4, which is plus 8. For the third, third row of the solution, you get the third row times the column of the second matrix. So it would be negative 1 times 5, which is negative 5. Now 3 times negative 2, which is negative 6. And then 5 times 4, which is plus 20. So
So remember how I said that the solution of the of this matrix multiplication would be a uh, would be a three by one. Remember using these two dimensions three and one. We can go ahead and solve this matrix by adding up the numbers. So fifteen plus sixteen is thirty one. Five minus two is three plus eight is eleven. Minus five minus six is negative eleven plus twenty is nine. And as you can see, the final dimension is indeed a three by one. Three rows, one column. And that is your solution to matrix multiplication. So I know it's confusing to multiply in this way as you've never seen uh, problems being multiplied this weirdly in previous subjects up until now. But you just have to remember it's the first row times the column for, for this part, the second row times the column for this part, and the third row times this column for the third part. 